Babaji's orientations to the Kriya Yogi. The spiritual path is an extremely sharp razor's edge. A guru is extremely necessary, have enormous patience and perseverance. Never abandon Kriya for even a day. The guru will only guide you. You yourself must walk the path. Life is short. At any moment, death can grab you. So apply yourself daily to your Kriya Yoga Sadhana. Don't complain that you don't have time for sadhana. Cut down on sleep or long talks or daydreaming. Brahman Chintan I mean, meditation on Brahman follows. Never put off until warning what you can do today. Don't boast or show off your abilities. Be simple and humble. Always be cheerful and drop worries. Be indifferent to things that don't suit you are concerned. Fly away from useless company and discussions. Be alone for a few hours every day. Give up the greed of jealousy, envy and accumulation. Control your emotions with discrimination and vairagya, I mean detachment. Maintain balance of mind at all times. Think twice before you speak and three times before you act. Give up talking behind their backs, criticizing and finding guilty. Be careful with reactions. Find only the flaws and weaknesses that are yours. And in others, see only what is good. Do good to those who hate you. Close the door on lust, anger, selfishness, moha and globa like poison beads. Have a definite goal that of being a perfect instrument for your Guru to work and mold you and be prepared to go through any amount of suffering in the name of your Sadguru Deva's mission. Rever all women as if they were the Divine Mother, I mean God herself. I stick to Satsanga and meditation to help the mind when it is overwhelmed by the lower instincts Take care of your health and keep your temple always in shape. Develop Brahmakara Vritti. I mean, activation of thoughts and actions by the will of God, by thinking of God repeatedly. Don't get angry when someone insults you, makes some fun of you or scolds you. It's just a play on words and a variety of sounds. Reset your mind on God and live in truth. Remember that the benefits of Mona, I mean silence, are incalculable, incalculable. Never give up this practice and doing it on those days will bring the fullest benefits. The observance of silence on those days will drive away Yama and his emissaries and frustrate Maya and her 96 Kalas. I mean impurities. Four important factors that undermine your peace of mind are sound, tap, vision, thoughts. Be ever vigilant. Think more and more of the Atman. You must realize this already in this incarnation. The aim of life is self-realization. It is the conquest of immortal life and eternal beatitude, the surest way to spontaneously develop divinity is to live life in an ideal way where all your actions lead you moment by moment closer and closer to God.